Hi, my name is Lynn Wolf. I work for Parks and, Tucson Parks and Recreation, and I teach child and adult yoga. Um, the class is really designed mostly for moms. Um, it's for infants 3 to 12 months old, and it can be a father, an aunt, an uncle, a, anyone, a grandparent, to work with the child. The idea is to connect with the child and to have a chance for you to breathe, to slow down, and connect with yourself. So if you're doing the class and the child needs some attention, just take your self away and do what you need to do to take care of the baby, but see if you can do the breathing with the class. So as you're working with the baby, see if you can keep the breath going. So this class is really a lot of fun. We have lots of um, lots of babies and, and the moms, and it's a really good place for resource resources. People ask each other about car seats, many, many different things. So it's a good place to socialize, it's a great place for the babies to see each other, which is really, really cute. And the moms are so in love with the babies. Anyone in the family would be so in love with the baby. So it's just really a blast. I'm going to do my best with my doll. So we're going to start out bringing the feet toward each other and just allow the baby to come down so the baby's in front of you. So let's all, we're just all going to take a deep breath and we're going to rub our hands together. Inhale. And exhale, rub the hands, and just, we're going to connect with the baby. So nice, warm hands, and we're just going to touch the baby's face, bring the arms down, the hands to the arms, maybe to the belly, the legs, and the feet, just to show that we're here together and we're going to play now. So once again, and talk to the baby, look at the baby. So we're going to first start out with some circles. We're going to, so I want you to have eye contact with the baby. We're going to go around. So we're going to inhale forward and say hello and exhale back. Hello. So just go around. <gasps> Hi. And see the baby and connect. Breathe. You're so cute. Any noises, you know, as, as the person who's around the baby, you know the noises that they like. You just do it. Faces, noises, bzzz, hello, peekaboo. So then let's take the body around the other way. Make a tickle. If you can get your face close, you can kiss. Just move. Just open up the waist, often the shoulders. The neck, the hips, especially the hips, opening the hips is really important, especially for the mom or actually anyone. So allow yourself to come to a stop, and then we're going to just drop our ears down. So if you want, you can hold the baby's hands, and you're just going to drop one ear to the left, to the right shoulder, and breathe, and then bring the head up. So you can keep the eye contact. Hello there, baby. And just allow that nice stretch. Inhale up and exhale to the opposite side. If the baby's comfortable or even sleeping, maybe bring your hands out. Inhale up and exhale to the sides. When the arms are out, you're able to get a little bit more of a stretch, and that feels really nice. Inhaling. And exhaling. So this is time for you and time for you and the baby to connect and to feel safe together. I know it's a difficult time right now, especially having a baby during these times is difficult. So we're going to eventually come into butterfly, which is we're just going to lean down so you can lean down and tickle, 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 and then come up. And you want to think about bringing these knees down without pressing on them. So the hands could come here or hold on to the baby, and you're just going to lean down. <gasps> Hello. And, you, and come on up. Inhale. Come down. Think about bringing those knees down. <gasps> and inhale. 
One more time, bring those knees down. Let's hold it this time. So we're just going to, let's hang on to the baby's face or head. And then just gently look down. See if you can drop your head to allow your neck to just relax. Because a lot of tension goes there. Yes. Hi there. Hello. Good girl. And then slowly come on up. Okay, so we're going to come on to all fours into a table, and we're going to do some cat-cow. We're going to, our faces will look down at the baby. So you're going to inhale into cow, and you can move if you'd like. The buttocks comes up, the low back is going to arch, and then exhale into a cat position. Push with the hands, push with the knees, stretch the shoulders, stretch the hips. So we'll moo, and we'll go meow. You hear that? Moo. Meow. Cat kitten. I mean, cow kitten. All righty. This feels really nice. This is a great way to stretch their spine. It's so important. There you go. And you can just look at the baby. Yes, sweetie. So from here, we're going to come into child. You can, we normally drop our heads, but you can hang on to the baby. The idea is to stretch the low back, and you can play with the feet as you're here. Take some nice deep breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. And from here, we'll transition to downward dogs. Hands come in front, back to table, toes tuck under, lift the hips up, and we're going to bicycle. Allow your body to twist, inhaling and exhaling. And then see if you can come all the way up on the toes, and let yourself let your heels come down. They're often not going to come all the way down. The idea is to stretch the Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon. So you can come up and lower, and just hold as many breaths as you'd like to. Head normally stays down. If the baby needs you to look, if you need to look at the baby, you can. But normally the head's staying down. We don't want to. We don't want to crank it up. Good. Okay, so from here, we're going to do a low lunge. Sometimes it's called a lizard pose. Take the foot, take one foot, bring it around the side of the baby. The other leg's just going to come back. We're going to just rock side to sides, opening the hips. Hello there. I see you. I see you. Just rocking. And then we're going to come up a little on the hands and allow, see if you can get that leg back and lift the heart if you can. I'm on my fingertips just because my, my arms are not as long as I'd like them to be. So I can get a little bit more of a stretch. So I'm opening my chest, lifting my heart up, shoulders are back, and I'm breathing deep. And slowly we're going to come the opposite direction. So you're going to come onto both knees, bring your other foot around. So baby's nice and close to you. Let this leg come back. And we're going to rock on those hips. So we're just going to rock side to side. Yes. Mommy's rocking. You like to rock, don't you? Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And just allow those hips to open. It feels really nice. And then eventually, you're going to just bring that leg back, and you're going to try to stretch into, you're going to lower this hip, and you're going to just try to stretch up. And I come to my fingertips because my arms are not that long. You can put something underneath to raise you up, whether it's pillows. Pillows would be good. And then just lift your 
heart, let your heart open, shoulders are coming back, shoulder blades come together. Inhale and exhale. Another deep inhale and exhale. And then come on back down. So we're going to transition to standing. We're going to do a goddess pose. So we're going to lift the baby up with us, however you need to get up. If you need to put a chair here, I'd place a chair and hang on to the chair. You always want to be safe with the baby. And sometimes you may, depending on your baby, you may need to hold the neck. If not, if the baby has pretty good neck control, if the baby's a little bit older, you don't have to. So depending on what the baby wants, you can have the baby face out. We're going to open the hips wide, and we're going to, it's, this comes from a goddess pose. So we're just going to take those hips, we're going to rock a little side to side. Lots of times babies like to look out so they would see the other moms and the other babies. They're just looking like, wow, at the toys and the colors. It's, it's very sweet. And then we're going to take our hips, bring them back together. And I'm going to, because I'm going to lift her, I want her to face me. So I'm going to lift her up and down. So I'm going to bring her up, elevators going up, and the elevators going down. Elevators goes up, and it goes back down. Up, and down. Up, and down. And you breathe, and just know if the baby just ate, this might not be the best position. You might not want to raise the baby if they just ate because they may not be able to hold it in. There you go. So she looks like this. She's very happy being lifted and lowered. Okay. So from here, we're going to come back down. We're going to work a little with our ab abdominals. So we're going to come into some modified boat pose. So I'm just going to bring the baby to my hips, so she's supported by my, my, le my legs. If you feel like you need to hold on to the baby, do. Maybe just one hand back. So with both, we open the chest, bring the shoulders together, and the legs are gonna come up. It's really important to work on the abs, so we're gonna take a deep breath in, pull the perineum in and up, because we wanna get, we wanna rehabilitate the um, muscles that got so loose from giving birth. So the legs are going to, we're going to pull that lock on the bottom and they see if the legs are willing to come up. If they're not, we can lift one leg at a time and the other. Or you can try to lift both legs up and bring them down. You can stop and restart, whatever you want to do. So the pose really is the legs are straight and the arms are straight, but you want to be careful with the baby. And you might not be able to do this right away, especially depending on whether it was a natural birth or not. So you're going to just take it easy. So the lifting and the lowering is a nice gentle way of doing that. And that is boat. Okay, so from here, we're going to come onto our back. And we're going to bring the baby onto our legs. We're going to go for a little ride. So I'll hold her carefully. And I'm going to stretch my legs out and bring them in again. This is the abdominal muscles we're using. So pull your perineum up in and squeeze your buttocks. Pull in and up. And the baby can go for a little ride. They usually really like this and they giggle. It's sweet. There you go. Another really good one for your abs. You know you can stop and restart 
since you've got the, since it's a video, you can stop it and restart to go back to the same exercises if you want to take breaks in between. There you go. There you go, so big. And then to end, we end with Shavasana, which is a relaxation. So the baby can come to your chest here. If the baby is more active and wants to be on the side, you just cradle the baby here. So you'd be in um, like a fetal position. Whatever the baby wants. If the baby wants to drink, you can breastfeed. And it's time here to connect with your breath, connect with the baby, and connect to your heart. So just try to be aware of your heartbeat. If your low back hurts, bring your feet in. Otherwise, you can come straight. So it's a time to just connect and take some nice deep breaths in and out. In and out. And then eventually you're just going to let the breath go and just be natural. So this is a time where you can just be quiet and safe with the baby and just rest. Maybe you can both fall asleep together. So this is a great way to end the class. So I want to thank you all for being here. It's much more fun than I could have shown just because of all the silly smiles and smirks and, and the silly things the babies do. They try to go and touch each other's face. It's, it's funny. And, and moms just giggle. And it's, it's really a nice class. So I encourage all of you moms and family members because it's, it's hard spending a lot of time inside with baby. So to go and to have a little time out for yourself and for the baby is, is a really great idea. So I encourage everyone to come. doesn't matter who you are, how old you are. You do what you can. You can do this in a chair. Um, you don't have to be on the floor. You can do it however you need to. And you don't have to do all the postures. So it's a fun time. So I hope to see you. If you want to be in the class, it's called Baby and Adult Yoga. It's ages 3 months to 12 months. Sometimes we have some crawlers, which is fine. And um, you just go to Tucson Parks and Recreation, and you'd look up easy registration. So I hope to see you sometime soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.